step four, AI is gonna take over the world and I'm a robot. Beep, boop, bop, beep, boop, boop, bop. I don't know, we just were talking about it today, but we're gonna go over the blog post. We're gonna go over all the events. We're gonna go over Penny Parker coming to the game. And then we're also gonna talk about um, getting Void Knight and Red Goblin rewards because of Beta Ray Bill finishing Dark Dimension 7. And then we've also got some details on Kiln, which is gonna be interesting. And there's a troublesome Black Knight. We're gonna go over some of the strategies that we've been talking about. First things first, uh, Stormwatch, big shout out to Updog and Brotherhood of the Storm starting on the 23rd. We've got a couple events starting. Campaign Energy, uh, earn shiny coins for the Golden Hour event. That's on the 23rd. Then Battle and Raids. And you're gonna get bonus points for using the new Spider Society characters. I have been using them. They've been useful on the first node and maybe sacking the second node, but we're really going to need Penny. But we've got a date for when Penny will be coming to the game in offers. Spin shiny coins for the limited time store for the Peace and Love Web Milestone event. Now, not related to shiny coins, we're also going to talk about these mega gold orb offers. There's one for $100. We're going to go over the averages and all of that. Battle and Raids. Uh, Rise of the Planet Alliance event starting the 23rd and then earn allied supply orbs on the 23rd from the Plants Alliance. Planet Alliance event starting on the 23rd. Now, we got the blog post and there's some cool things in this blog post. We're going to go over them all. Dark Beast Bliss starting on the 22nd. Yeah, I guess some people like Dark Beast, but I don't need Dark Beast anymore. Golden Hour, earn shiny coins, raid with Spider Society, Peace and Love Web Milestone, spin shiny coins, Rise of the Planet Alliance Milestones, Raid, and Collect Allied Supply Orb Fragments, and then the Battle Pass will feature Red Goblin and Iron Patriot. No idea what the mounts are going to be and what the percentage is going to be. I just don't know. It's also worth noting that this week, uh, they are now farmable. That would be Nightcrawler is in the Cosmic Crucible store. Sunspot has a node that you find farm with campaign energy. And then Forge is in the dreaded war store. What a hassle getting Forge. Um, escape from Kiln. We're going to go over that. We've got some information in this post about a uh, skill, Spider-Verse, and so on that are going to be requirements. Uh, Black Cat's in that, which kind of makes it interesting. On the 26th, Hydra Hunters, Quick Rumble, Blitz with Invaders, boo, not a fan of Invaders. And then Bumps, Iron Patriot, and Leader are going to Bumps. And what Bumps is, is that is, it means that they're going to now show up inside of Premium Orbs, Basic Orbs, things like that. But more importantly, in the Ultimus Food Store or the Ultra Store, uh, Iron Patriot and Leader will be showing up there. Penny Parker will be coming to the game on the 26th for Offers. We're not going to go all over that. Now, uh, it's just going to be, there's going to be offers. I don't know how much they're going to be, but that'll be starting on the 26th. Can you escape from Kiln? And I've got to say, in general, most people are pretty excited about this. This is um, not, uh, wasn't like people hate this. When I was talking to people in chat, people seem pretty excited about this. They like the last Kiln event. There are some caveats to that let's talk about it can you keep a secret there are rumors that another person can break is set to begin that's right the escapable intergalactic prison kiln will be on the side of another battle for big rewards with the return to the escape from kiln the second one will feature a new cells calling upon some of the strike newest teams so review the cell trait requirements to prepare we're going to go over that here's a refresher of the rules for escape from kiln there's a total of 46 cells. There's going to be six new cells to battle through in order to escape. And the cramped confines of this prison means you can only battle with three character squads based on each cell trait requirements. All players level 16 up can participate. Only commanders with the strongest rosters will have a good chance of escaping. Now, I know in Galaxy of Heroes, people generally didn't like the three character squads, but that seemed to be pretty well received here. And then secondly, Kiln is tuned and designed for kind of end game players. So I know that there will be some frustrations possibly for this event because it's not designed for early game or mid game players. They state that right here that this is for the strongest rosters. Here are the rules. Kind of reminds me of like a scourge in a lot of ways. No cooldown period for characters after a battle. 
Health and abilities persist between battles for players and enemies. Characters can't be healed between battles. You remain in the same cell after losing a battle. You don't drop down. Restarting a run will drop you down to floor one, heal your characters, and reset your score. Completing a cell earns a milestone reward. So if you go through it on day one and go through every single run, every single room that is, you're done. You're done. You just, it, this isn't something you're gonna have to play every day. And it's just gonna be a matter of, can you get through all of it? How far can you get? And then if you get destroyed or something goes wrong, then you restart. But you're gonna have like a watermark of the milestones based on uh, your highest run. So I'm gonna skip to the bottom because the restrictions get more and more uh, restrictive. Cabal or Underworld at gear tier 18. So Cabal is going to be the brand new team, which is going to be Namor, Iron Patriot leader. And then Underworld, you know, there's some pretty good characters in Underworld, Taskmaster, Mr. Negative, and Kingpin. And if you're brave, you could use um, Ultimate Green Goblin and Nobu. But I feel like those are pretty good characters. This is a little interesting. Gear tier 18, Spider-Verse skill at gear tier 18 and boy uh this is interesting i didn't realize that black cat was skill spider verse so this is leaning heavily into the new spider society we got kingpin here also craven ghost spider and so on now the thing that is interesting about this and i'm not sure how this is going to play out but cells 41 through 43 and this was provided by baka link to this will be in the description this is a spreadsheet that was extracted from the data mine where every wave and every character is on this sheet and there's a black knight and i i don't know like i couldn't really wrap my head around how these characters are going to get through a black knight black knight has some natural enemies like Void Knight or Big Time Spider-Man or even Apocalypse. Well, these are not the natural enemies of Black Knight. I'm talking about in the game and mechanics wise, of course. So we're gonna see how this plays out uh, when it goes live into the game, uh, which is gonna be starting not that far around the corner next week. We'll just go over that starts on the 24th. So there you go. Rewards for escaping, break free, as many cells as possible or many unique gear tiers 16 17 18 gold we need lots of gold we're going to talk more about gold here in a minute training material modules in addition to gwenum red stars and a three diamond gwenum free claim friday is running right now and then there is going to be a series of events and the golden hour event is going to be the leaderboard auction for black cat so it looks like the top 50 sp event spenders, <laughs> even though it's a milestone, in my opinion, these are just auctions. So the top 50 will get a three diamond black cat. And it looks like the top 200 will get a two, hundred, a two diamond and the top 1,000, one diamond. I don't participate in these. I, I know that um, some people that do don't like them because they're forced to spend in the auction style event. We'll move past it. So... Uh, there was uh, the player voice poll. And so this was for the completion of Dark Dimension 7 and Blade of Ray Bill. Thank you all participated in the Dark Dimension celebration poll on the player voice Discord channel. The celebration winners are Red Goblin and Void Knight. And actually that's who I voted for. So I'm kind of happy myself. We will communicate in the future on how you'll be able to choose which character you want so you get to choose between red goblin or void knight and you'll get 100 shards and a seven red version of that character kind of wish it was like a diamond or like a one diamond i don't feel like seven red is as valuable as it once was now uh there is a breakdown of that right here i just wanted to show uh wherever people voted this was on the the player voice discord server looks like Void Knight, Red Goblin were the top two, and then Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler, um, since this was done, has uh, became made available in the Cosmic Crucible store. So, for me, I kind of like that it's going to be Void Knight and Red Goblin. Now, I also want to show a screenshot of 
Beta Ray Bills roster. And this is the very, very bottom of his roster, which is minions. And oh lordy. Oh lordy. They're all gear tier 18, three diamonds, blue ISO four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Let's keep going. What do we got next? We got two offers we're going to go over. Uh, this is an offer only found on the web store. So it's a web special. The reason why this was of interest to me is that Cosmic Ghost Rider is a relatively new character. Million gold, 100 power cores, and 150 trading materials for five bucks. Can only buy it once. This is a super controversial offer because you may have seen other people posting pictures of pulling 100 million gold out of a mega gold orb. This may even be showing up in your Alliance chat. Now, some math was done, but before we get into the math, we got to review the offers. They got 18 of them for $100, and then you get one and a half of them. Strange number right there, but you get one of them basically for $10. So big shout out to Utah Binger who did some math. And so this is kind of interesting though, because the hundred million drop is a one in 200% chance, right? So it's 0.5. So the average, like if you could open as many orbs as possible, the average of this will be 2.26 million gold per orb. So, you know, if you do the math on that and you say, oh, I got 18 orbs and I'm going to average 2.26, then I should get about 40 million gold. Is 40 million gold worth $100? Not really, in my opinion, but even worse than that is that you're probably not going to pull the 100 million. And if you take out like this 100 million right here, and you take out the 25 million, which is a 1% drop, then you know, then maybe your your the average is closer to like 1.4 million, 1.5 million. I know that's been my experience with opening mega gold orbs is it seems like I get like about a million and a half. So he did some more maths and I'm not going to go into the best explanation on this because I don't really understand it, but I know that there's some math people out there that'll appreciate this. But it's saying that if if you open one orb, 95% of the people are going to get less than 1.4 million, right? And only 5% of the people are going to get more than 1.5 million. So if you're opening one orb, 1.5 million. I mean, I just haven't opened enough of these orbs. Now, if you open up a bunch of the orbs, yes, the number will be closer to uh, the number right here, 2.2. So I had a lot of people said that they bought the $100 offer right here and they got like 23 million orbs, 23 million gold. I think you kind of have to be at the mindset that you might get about 25 million gold. And if you're lucky, you'll get 40 million. And if you're really, really lucky, you'll get a hundred million. So, um, it, the long, what I'm trying to say is this offer is trash. This is trash. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that was a long way. There's too much math in there for me to just to say it's trash. Also, if you want to spend money on the game, please, 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 please buy the strike pass and the battle pass first before considering these. If you're going to spend... Uh, not $80 a month in this game. The first $80 that you should spend on Marvel Strike Force should be the Strike Pass and the Battle Pass. They're, there's one a week. They're $20. And, you know, Baca did some analysis right here. You know, the Strike Pass, which came out on the 15th, is 20 bucks. It has 20 million gold and power cores and character shards and all kinds of other stuff. The value per spend in this game on the Battle Pass and the Strike Pass does not math out anywhere near these other kind of offers. I'm just saying. So if you're gonna spend money in this game, consider buying the Battle Pass and the Strike Pass first. Speaking of gold, I thought this was a funny post. Gold, that's it. That's the post because I need 20 characters and we need more gold. And then here's all these posts about gold. Person might not like someone else's religion, but he'll accept his gold. 
Gold will be slave or master. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. When gold speaks, every tongue is silent. <laughs> and then lastly, I just got it. I think this was a funny post. I'll tell you why. This game is so new player friendly. Absolutely love everything about this game is done compared to Galaxy of Heroes. I played that game for so long. I never felt like I was making any meaningful progress. Played this game for a day and already have so many of my favorite characters. They literally uh, handed me like four full teams, including the spider team for the new event. Galaxy of Heroes characters would have a heart attack if three missions gave you five amazing characters. And then I thought this was a funny cop. Nice try, Scopely. But here's the thing. I just started an account, right? And I've been playing for 10 days. And I've already have 120 characters unlocked in my first 10 days of playing Marvel Strike Force. Now, I don't have enough gold or blue mat blue ability materials to upgrade all of them. No, I have enough for about two, three teams, but they do give a lot of characters right out of the gate. And so that is 100% true. We'll be making more videos about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.